Welcome to the first tutorial of this channel. So just a quick note before I start, hopefully the setup is good. I know the lighting on this side is a little bit darker, but today is just going to be a Patrick JMT style video because I cannot think of any other setup to put it in. So nevertheless, we are going to figure out what is the meaning behind n over 2 multiplied by n plus 1. Now, for those who do not know what this means, this is the sum of all consecutive natural numbers up to n. This means what is, for example, if n is 4, what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4? And just a quick note for those who do not remember what natural numbers are, it's 1, 2, 3, basically up to infinity, but they have to be uh, no decimal, and it starts at 1. So, now that we have that out of the way, what is the meaning behind this formula over here? So this obviously does this. It sums all the numbers together. But remembering the formula, that doesn't really help because you'll forget the formula in a year's time and not to mention you lose out on the joy of figuring out the, un the intuition behind this formula. So let's go about actually piecing together what is the formula? What does, how does it work? Why is it n plus 1 and why is it n over 2? So let's start off with writing a number line. So instead of using the example of 4, I'll use 6 because it would just make it a little bit more complicated, I guess you could say. But I guess it just explains things a little bit better in my head at least. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the spacing is not too bad at least. <laughs> now, how are we going to add these numbers together. We can go about the repetitive way of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and that will take a while. For 6 it won't be that difficult but as we as n is larger like 100 doing 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to 100 that will take a very long time unless you're using a computer to do it for you. So how can we go about this in a simple way? So instead of adding the numbers together like that why don't we group them together rather? So why don't we group the largest and the smallest number together, and then the second largest and the second smallest, and then the third largest and third smallest. So let's start this out with the smallest number plus the largest number, 6. That gives us a result of 7. Now, as the smallest number increases by 1, the largest number decreases by 1. So when we add these two numbers together, 2 plus 5, we will still get 7 because as this increases by 1, it decreases by 1, so the net result doesn't change, it still stays 7. Now as we go to the third smallest and third largest, 3 plus 4, and this is the final one, we will still get 7. So as you can see, we have three groups that all net to 7. So due to the fact that we are just adding the numbers together, if we add all these 7s together, we will get the sum of all numbers from 1 to 6. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 will give us 7 plus 7 plus 7. Now, we don't need to actually say 7 plus 7 plus 7 because what is repeated addition? It is multiplication. It's basically 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals 3 times 7. So what is 3 times 7? It's obviously 21. Now, let's just make sure that this actually checks out. So 1 plus 2 is 3, and then over here, plus 3 is 6, 10, 15, 21. So as you can see, up to 6, it does check out. Let's find out what is the meaning of the formula. What does this have to relate to this little grouping method? So as you can see, n plus 1 is 7, because n in this case is 6. So if we add 1 to it, we get 7. And the result will always be n plus 1, because natural numbers start with a 1. Now, that doesn't mean you can just sub it out for 0 if you're doing whole numbers. That's a whole different story, but I'll make a video on that maybe in the future. But that is the 7 over here. Now, the n over 2, because we are using pairs, we have three sets of this addition, which all nets to n plus 1. So, n divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, is 3. And that is because we are taking two pairs out each time. So obviously, we're going to only be netted with three of them, not six of them, because it's not single numbers. So we are basically, n over 2 describes that how many groups are there. And n plus 1 is what do those groups equate to. So n over 2, this number. And then n plus 1, this number. 
What about odd numbers? Odd numbers might sound like it's not going to work, right? But it actually does. Let's just use 3 because 3 will be quick for this. So 1, 2, 3. Now let's just use the formula in this case. What is n divided by 2? 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. So 1.5 multiplied by 3 plus 1, 4 equals 6. And as you can see, 1 plus 2 equals 3 plus 3 equals 6. So this checks out. I'll do a video where it explains why we actually need to know this because obviously you can just emulate this with a for loop on a computer but actually understanding this formula gives us whole new ways to solve different geometric puzzles and it's actually very helpful to know to know this formula and to especially understand the intuition behind it so this is just the first video hopefully the explanation was clear enough I'll maybe make another video where it's quicker and maybe another video where I use different examples and spice things up with for example the sum of all even numbers but regardless that is this video hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video